What's up guys, Jason Stewart here, here with Epic Fighter Miguel, and we got some crazy stuff to tell you guys. So first of all, thank you for your service. Oh, thank you, I think We've got a support. US Army veteran here, and uh, a funny story that we're gonna have to tie all this back in together is he heard about Barrett, legendary jiu-jitsu guy here in our hometown of San Diego, while UFC was doing a tour in Kuwait while he was on deployment. Sorry, so sorry. tell us how that went down. Uh, we were sticking around, you know, we were flyers that the UFC were coming in. You have nothing else to do, so you're excited to see other people. Uh, we were lucky enough to uh, they hold mates with us. We did a little open mat, you know. So and all then, the like military guys mm -hmm. got to do a little something. Yeah, they the invited. Yeah, that's yes, awesome. They did like a presentation for like support the troops. I mean, mm -hmm. it was called. Uh, we got to roll with them, and that's where we're from originally. You know, we train and whatnot. And they said that once we go back to go check out the arena to check out with Barrett. You yeah. Know? And then that's it. I went, went back, came back home, and then went and checked that out and then stick around. And got into it. Got into it. But that it. wasn't your first experience with combat sports because you had been boxing since you were young, right? Yes, that's that's correct. My grandpa got me into uh, boxing and soccer. You know, those were the two sports. Yeah, like, those were the two sports. Play soccer a little bit and then boxing. He's a big, he big said, boxing you're, guy. You're gonna do both of these. Yes. What age do you think you started throwing hands? Uh, the around the, when I was like 13, 13 years old. My grandpa got me into. Okay. Into boxing. So you start doing the boxing and then now as, as an adult, you're doing the jujitsu. And then how did that transition into I'm going to do MMA? Uh, one thing, same thing, went to another uh, training with Barry. Everybody goes in, you know, we meet a lot of people. I was lucky enough to meet a uh, big brother, Herman Toronto out of Game Breath. Mm -hmm. He invited me over to train over there, check out the guys. And then I was lucky enough to stick around out of both. So I get, you know, to train with both. That's we're awesome. Big, we're all big, big family. And so you had an interesting experience where you were going from doctor to doctor about a lump and every single doctor told you, hey, you got cancer. It looks like it's cancer. You got cancer. And they were offering treatment. Yes, Instead of yes, getting treatment, yes, you just yes. kept getting more opinions yes. until someone said, eh, it might not be cancer. It might, it might not be, you know, yes. Yeah, funny thing is, um, you know, I had this little lump. And then it started growing. I was like, you know what? This is, is something on it. You know, let's go. Yeah. Let's get it checked out. We always have the fear of like the unknown going to a doctor and them saying something right. it's wrong. And in this this case, it was, you know, quote unquote, it was wrong. There right. was something wrong with it. Um, and the first doctor said, you know what? It looks that it could be wrong. You know, it could be something. Scare me up. I was like, oh, thank you. I'm going to go check, check it out. Check someone else. Same thing happened. And I was like, okay, now it's. You know, it's two doctors. Two doctors uh, yes. are telling you it's cancer. Yes, went to uh, down the border. You know, they said, you know, go, go to Mexico, you know, go check something else out too. Same thing, doctors say, you know what? Could be wrong. And then the last one said, well, it is or isn't. You know, we have to check it out. Might as well, you know, and then uh -huh. I'll let you know if it is or isn't. It's still too young. We can cut it out and then. Yeah, you, you might as well get it yes, removed yes, anyway. Yes, exactly, exactly, yes. But did he confirm that it wasn't or he just got rid of it either way? I got rid of it either way. I decided to go, because uh, he still got to go to another procedure before you go through surgery, so mm -hmm. he's still playing with it. Yeah. And then he, you run the risk of it, like, spreading through your body and whatnot, so might as well. Yeah, I had a, uh, I, it's funny you say that. I had a similar, I had a, a this, almost like a mole that kept okay. getting bigger and bigger until it was like this on my back. Mm -hmm. And everyone who saw it was like, oh, that could be cancer. It's kind of red. It's kind of, you know. And I finally talked to someone and I said, well, whether it's cancer or not, if you remove it, that's the move, right? Like, yes. You yeah, know, that's like, correct. Like, yeah, you could. I was like, well, then let's just get it removed. And I just got it removed. I went to a surgeon because that's what they do all day. And they cut a, I didn't realize it for a mole that big, they have to cut like really far to make it, to, to be able to make a line that they can stitch back together. But that's so funny. We had similar incidents. I just didn't go from doctor to from doctor. doctor, doctor. I'm, not a, I'm not a doctor kind of guy. <laughs> I just went to someone to cut it out. It was definitely, definitely quite, quite a journey. And then definitely we went, yeah, went down to a procedure, cut it so out. What, so yeah, that's, that's a scary feeling. You're like, you know, is my whole life going to change? Do I have to do chemo? Like, so thank God that it went the yeah. way that it did. Yeah. So you got a fight coming up. Yes. How are you feeling about it? How's your training coming? What are the pros and cons? What have been the ups and downs that you've been going through? Ready, solid. You know, I'm very, very excited. I'm very, very thankful to partake on this car, especially after the pandemic. You know, after this whole mm -hmm. year that changed it, I think it's going to be awesome. I've been constantly training. I'm not uh, 
new to super fights. I'm pretty active on on the jiu jitsu side. I've okay. done a few super fights, a few big tournaments. Travel to compete out with the team, you know. So I'm nice. definitely excited to definitely show 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 the art, you know. Show hands, show that we can do everything here. So it wasn't know? like you were rusty the whole time. Yeah, no, you were, you no, were no, sneaking we, in with some jujitsu yeah, no, here. We stay, and some, we stay training. The whole competition. I mean, comp combat fighting is combat fighting. Yes. I mean, you're going at it, like yeah. whether it's wrestling or boxing or MMA, jujitsu. Like, it doesn't matter. You guys are going at it for sure. Yes, yes, yes. So that's awesome. So how do you envision this fight going? I'm sure, you know, going out there, I, I heard he's some, some good stand-up guy, too. So I'm excited to go stand up. And, you know, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. Right. You know, so. We'll are you see. the type of guy that you you like to exploit the weaknesses? Or are you the type that wants to try to compete with someone on their strengths? I like to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody. You know, I like to test you out. I like you to test yeah. me out. And then. We'll see from there. If you break, then you break. And if you don't, then we'll stand up. We'll go toe to toe. It's okay. I love it. Come check him out, you guys. July 23rd, Epic Fighting. Tickets available now at epicfighting.com. And follow all the action on Instagram at Epic Fighting. And we're also, if you can't make it out to the fights, we can do pay per view. We're going to have a link on our Instagram for you guys to pay and watch for your own private pay per view screening. Awesome. Thank you, my man. Bang.